Well, all right, this thing turned out pretty awesome. I'm really happy with these colors. So it was camo green, black, and hot chocolate. And I was trying to make a, a lighter green color and that just didn't work. I didn't put enough lighter green in there. So it doesn't really show up. But I think that just the three colors really makes a pretty good camo. Now, to get the camo look, that's another story. It's kind of difficult, but I was actually pretty happy with how all this turned out. I think it's going to be pretty cool when you turn it up. Um, now I'm going to be making a bottle opener, so I don't really need a, a super long handle necessarily. So I'm going to probably cut this about two thirds, three quarters of the way down and then uh, start turning it up. So let's get over to the saw, cut this thing down and then get over to the lathe and start spinning it up.
All right, well, I love it when a plan comes together. This thing turned out how I really pictured it. You know, sometimes you go into these castings, these projects, and, you know, you have something in mind, kind of. Maybe it, you don't have, like, a specific plan, but, you know, you kind of have a general idea of what you, you're looking for. And a lot of times, it's kind of hard to nail that, but this really worked out great. The, the red, white, and blue swirls are exactly how I wanted it, just some kind of wispy trails. The F35 pin looks great in there. Everything's all clear. There's no problems with it. And then the, the camo burl, the colors, came out perfect. So I couldn't be happier with this thing. So for the kit, I used a stainless bottle stoppers bottle opener. Uh, I'll link to where you you can get this if you want to pick one up. Also to the mandrel. I really like their mandrel, the, the universal mandrel. It's got the bushings so that you get the diameter of a bunch of different project kits when you're doing like stoppers, handles, uh, like the ice cream scoop. There's all kinds of different like kind of project kits that, that have different size diameters where, where the blank is going to meet the hardware. And their universal mandrel has a bunch of those bushings, kind of like pen kits, but you always nail the diameter on your blank every time. So it makes things a lot easier. You don't have to go back and forth, see if it worked, all that kind of stuff. So I'll link to both of those as well as the mica powders. If you want to pick up some of the new P-Town subby micas, definitely I'll link to the, the camo colors that I used in this one. Uh, you can get those at uh, the, the stainless bottle stopper stuff. It's just stainless bottlestoppers.com and uh, ptownsubby.com or you can just get these micas the, the p-town subby micas at turner's warehouse and uh, don't forget guys i am an affiliate for alumalite so if you need to pick up alumalite silicone resin um, their powders or dyes or any of that kind of stuff and you're going to order it from alumalite.com i'd really appreciate it if you use my link um, that way i actually get a little bit of a referral bonus and it costs you guys nothing so you can help support the show as well as get some good resin and uh, silicone and all those kind of supplies. So links are down in the show notes if you want to grab any of that stuff. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this thing come together. It was a really fun project, and I've never really done... Um you know, like a pin like this. I, I've, I've kind of, you know, glued things onto to burls and different stuff. Um, but I don't think I've ever actually used, like, used a, specifically a pin. And that was a very simple way to go. Just a 16th inch drill bit. Drill a little hole, glue it in, and everything went pretty well. So, hope you guys give this a shot or something like it. Hopefully you guys will uh, also, you know, get into the, the silicone mold making with the burls and all that stuff. It's really fun. You can copy anything and then recast it if you want. It's just kind of, you know, one of those things. There's so many possibilities with resin casting. Hopefully you guys will get out there and try it out too. And don't forget, if you are getting into resin casting, but you're not really sure where to begin, don't forget to check out my ebook, The Beginner's Guide to Resin Casting. It answers all those beginner questions, helps you kind of get on the right path, you know, help you understand what's really going on with resin casting. What do you need to know? What do you need to get to start? All that kind of stuff. So uh, if you're in that camp looking to get into stuff and want a little bit of a guide, check it out over on my website. It's available right now. So I guess until next time, guys, thanks for watching this video and happy casting.